Hey guys, this is SF and welcome to Monster of the Week. This week is, of course, the new transcension of Brahma. And he did get improvements, but some people don't really like him that much, but we will see. And uh, why? Wood resistance, gauge shot of wood slayer, and no warp. Strike shot is pretty much the same. Explosion from the ascended Brahma. And then bump combo is the same. Added with a Giga Blast onto the quote unquote sub bump combo. And I'll be bringing him into Tengu because screw damage walls. <laughs> screw damage walls. Brahma can go wherever he pleases. And this is uh, the good part about Brahma is. I think he is the first, I'm pretty sure he's the first, uh, uh, in terms of 6 stars, I'm pretty sure there's a 4 or 5 star monster out there that's... Actually, never mind, there is, oh, uh, who's, who's her name? Uh, Zhang Zhang has a resistance plus a slayer on the same monster. So, he's not the first, but, uh, you know, it is very good and very, very rare. Having a resistance and a slayer on the same guy. Usually it's either the resistance or the slayer. So he takes in less damage. And of course the wood slayer is very powerful. And he does have high stats as well. So he can get a lot of hits. And don't be fooled by his looks because I always do. And I originally thought he was a power type and I was like oh crap another power type. But he's actually not, he's a... He is a bounce type. Now, of course, you know, it's another Wood Slayer. There's like, what, the fifth Wood Slayer in the game? I'm pretty sure, well, it's probably the fourth. But, we don't have a Minesweeper, my, we don't have a Minesweeper Wood Slayer yet. Because I remember, he go Roma. Who's the third one? I remember there's a third one too, but... The no warp is actually is uh, Kao Kao, That's the third one, and then there's no no warp guy for Wood Slayer, and then there's no Minesweeper for Wood Slayer either. But you know, fire in general has been kind of left under the bus for the most part in terms of like monsters, in terms of like really OP monsters, and Brahman didn't really help in that department either. Of course, the main reason why Brahma is kind of meh is why choose Brahma over Hanzo? And people are right. Hanzo is more... I wouldn't say he's more powerful than Brahma in terms of wood, wood dungeons. Well, in some wood dungeons. I wouldn't say all of them. And But, you know, Hanzo has more uh, viability. And just because he has double nulls and... His strike shots is relatively more utility based than damage, which Brahma is. And. You know. Hanzo is probably the best viable, like, best general fire monster out there. And then, like, Roma can. Roma and Himiko are probably hitting those, like, wood dungeons, whether which one is the best. Fire monster for wood dungeons and whoa. There you go. My phone has been getting has been wonky lately. And hopefully I get to his strike shot. I'll get to the first gear. Uh, it's pretty much it's pretty much the same, but it's a little bit different in one big area, and I'll show you once it's up. Probably in the last phase, I'll use it on the last phase. And during that time, I'll use the Leas Strike Shot. Just to clear off people. Meteor! All the Meteors! But in terms of dungeons, you know. Like, Tengu is not bad because there's not that much damage wall until the last one. And then... Uh, there's not many... Uh, basically Kushinada and Kushinada Zero. 
And then are his two best dungeons. There is Eve Bell for Insidious, which is a really good wood monster. He makes that dungeon a piece of cake. It's even like that's one of the few dungeons where Brahma is way better than Hanzo, in my opinion. And I want to clear off that dude, and I didn't. Uh, I'll hold it in for the next start, uh, for the next round, and I'll just hit random guys. But the really, really cool part about Brahma's Strike Shot is that it is an explosion Strike Shot, but the explosion is a lot bigger than all the other explosion Strike Shots. Well, except for the Volatile Blast types, uh, kind of like Ashura, I guess, Ashura, Shiro, and even Harley X, I think they're about the same range, but like a pure explosion one shot is a lot strong. Let's test it out a little bit. And I'm just gonna purposely miss this. And let's see the damage. And this is second gear. No, it's the first gear. It's only the first gear. And 1.4 million. And as you can see, I didn't hit anywhere near the weak spot, but I still did 1.4 million on the second shot, on the second gear, which is pretty crazy. And that's fine. I thought Taki Ren Tuttle's gauge shot was a, you know, no damage wall. But, but mainly his main dungeon is Kushinada, Kushinada Zero. I'll have a Kushinada video with him in it you know, on Impossible Mondays. And all in all, a good monster, but you know, Hanzo's better. He's more situated in with dungeons again so he has zero he doesn't really have much viability outside of with dungeons if he, he kind of does but you know he doesn't do as well as like hanzo or like other non and uh, non-fire uh war monsters depending on the element and stuff like that so uh a good transcension but of course he's not like super op like uh, some of the transcensions are but uh he'll get more use in my opinion in the future uh, f like elemental slayers always have a use for something if you really make it work but that's pretty much it for me i hope you guys like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time bye